I'm Graham Fick. I'm the artistic director of Birmingham Opera Company. When I was a 12-year-old boy on Merseyside from a working class background, when I came across opera entirely alone, and it completely changed and transformed my life. And it's what I built my life around. It's where I found my own self. At a time of economic hardship, 26 years ago, um, Birmingham City Council was prepared to invest in a completely new idea of what an opera company might be. The ethos of the company has always been um, uh, to appeal to the broadest possible audience, to seek out new audiences, to give the opportunity of live performance to people who, to, who don't have access to opera. I spend a lot of my time telling all sorts of cities in the world how great Birmingham is. Uh, and the work that we do with Birmingham Opera Company is influencing policy in many other places. In countries where the operatic system is collapsing, like Italy, where I've just come back from, they're hungry to know about alternative ways to work, to heal the wounds, to find a way forwards from what is an absolutely collapsing system. Um, and so advising the Minister of Culture in Italy about the future of opera by talking about Birmingham Opera Company is an, a profoundly satisfying thing. I mean, they invented it, <laughs> but um, they invented it and they've got stuck. And here we're on the move. The highlights of the last 26 years, maybe my personal favourite was Fidelio in the rave tent at, uh, outside Aston Villa football ground. Um, because the wind howled, the tent shook. Um, Leonora dug her husband's grave in the real earth. Uh, and I cried. I was incredibly flattered <laughs> to be nominated and staggered and thrilled to have won this award.